Hi guys, so Donald Trump gave a weird press conference. Now I know a weird press conference from Donald Trump is not news, but in this um, particular one, he acted or he's acting as if he's still in campaign mode, as if the election is still ongoing, which is extremely worrying because Donald Trump has lost. He had uh, attempted to undermine democracy. He attempted to uh, throw a number of <laughs> legal cases against the wall, hoping that one of them would stick. Uh, thankfully, in Pennsylvania, he has lost. Um, the judge, I think it was the judge there, threw it out and said, look, we're not going to deal with this. Um, so he has lost any hope in Pennsylvania, which guarantees that Joe Biden has won, even if Donald Trump tries to contest the election in other states. But apart from that, I think what he's trying to do is he's trying to undermine Joe Biden's uh, presidency even before it has begun. So let's hear what he had to say and I'll come back with some more comments. In half, last quarter we witnessed the fastest economic growth ever recorded in the history of our country, 33.1 percent. It's a number that is more than double our highest. That was in 1952 and we've more than doubled it. The United States experienced the smallest economic contraction and the most rapid economic recovery of any major Western nation. We went down less and we went up more, which is quite a combination of facts. While healthy Americans have gone back to work and to school, we continue to spare no expense to protect the elderly and the vulnerable. According to some estimates, a national lockdown costs $50 billion a day and hundreds of thousands of jobs every single day. Ideally, we won't. Actually, I don't know if that's true. You know, Bar uh, um, Donald Trump will say certain things, but, you know, are they true or not? Go to a lockdown. I will not go. This administration will not be going to a lockdown. Hopefully the the uh, whatever happens in the future, who knows which administration will be. I guess time will tell. But <laughs> time will tell which administration um, you're going out. There is, you know, some people seem to think that maybe Donald Trump can hold on in some way. Donald Trump can't hold on. Donald Trump will be removed from office in January 2021. Um, you know, some people seem to think that maybe some he can hold on in some way by convincing people that the election was not uh, was rigged or that there were some Ill irregularities. No, no, he will be removed. He has lost. My fear is what's going to happen after. And I fear that he's going to attempt to undermine Joe Biden's administration. Now, what normally happens is, in most cases, not always, but in most cases, the candidate who was defeated goes away and is pretty much forgotten about. Now, I think we all hoped that Boris, Don, sorry, Donald Trump, Donald Trump would leave office and be forgotten about. But that's not Donald Trump's style. Donald Trump will remain around as much as possible. I'm hoping that he will be eventually kicked off Twitter. This would be greatly damaging to him. But I think what he's trying to do here is he's trying to remain in campaign mode. And he's going to remain in campaign mode until 2024. Now, there is speculation that he may try to run again. I don't think that's really the case, Perhaps, but I could be wrong. It's still early days. But I think it's more likely that he's going to anoint someone to be the next Trump. And it could be either his daughter, Ivanka, or his son, one of his sons, um, uh, Donald Jr. Both of them are terrible individuals. Both of them are horrible candidates. But if uh, they have his blessing, it's, uh, it's possible that the Republican Party could rally behind that individual. Um, but I don't think they would be as successful as Donald. It's um, you know, why vote for a copy of the real thing? You know, you vote for the real thing. But I think what um, Donald Trump is going to do after he leaves office is to create some sort of movement and maybe an anti-lockdown movement, similar to maybe what um, uh, Nigel Farage is doing in the UK with the Reform UK. I think there is an attempt to undermine the government using these types of movements and a, of course um, Donald Trump will have his connections in the media maybe he's going to start his own media group 
in order to promote the idea that we, you know, we have to undermine the government at every turn. And here is the alternative. We're not going to hear the end of um, Donald Trump, unfortunately. He will be removed from office in January, but I think he will be planning for some sort of comeback, unfortunately. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.